in the name of Almighty Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. As Muhammad, peace be upon him, narrated, if anyone travels on a road in search of knowledge, Almighty Allah will cause him to travel on one of the roads of paradise. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tarim Sud. Thank you very much for watching my videos and your wonderful support to make the channel a grand success. We are a family, a partner. Please share and subscribe our channel if you haven't done so far. We as a team can work together to convert challenges into opportunities and opportunities into success stories. These success stories can be monetized into value addition in the world by large. Today I'm going to discuss my lecture number 26 on petrochemicals. So oil and gas productions, exploration, production, upstream, midstream, refining, a petrochemical, differentiated performance, enabling profit optimization, lecture number 26. Before my lecture, I used to read a Quranic verse, Call Rabbi Shrali Sadri wa Yassarli Amri wa Halal Uqdatam Millisani Yafkahu Kauli Allahumma Rabbi Zidini Ilma. Okay. O oh my Lord, open my chest and ease my task for me and lose a knot from my tongue that they may understand my saying. Allahumma Rabbi Zidini Ilma, O oh Allah, advance me in my knowledge and a true understanding. Okay, oil and gas production. We have discussed introduction, facilities and process, reservoir and wellhead, upstream facilities, midstream facilities, refining facilities, petrochemicals, utility system, unconventional conventional resources and environment effects. What is the ultimate goal? Shaping the clean and sustainable global energy delivery. Planned to deliver more than 300 lectures in the next couple of years. Okay, oil and gas production, lecture number 26, petrochemical, zoilin and polyesters through aromatic hydrocarbons. Okay. Key takeaway points from lecture number 26. Today we are going to discuss aromatics, zoilins, polyester, a chain, and as well are toilings. Okay, petrochemicals, aromatics. Aromatics, so called because of their distinctive a perfumed smell, are a group of hydrocarbons that include benzene, toilin, and soilings. These are basic chemicals used as starting material for a wide range of consumer products. Almost all aromatics come from crude oil, although a small quantity are made from coil. Okay, aromatics, zoilins and polyester chain derivatives. One of the form of zoilin paraxines is used to make polyesters which have application in clothing packaging and plastic bottles. The most widely used polyester is a polyethylene, terephthalate PET, used in lightweight, recyclable, a soft drink bottles, 30% of productions as fibers in clothing, 60% of production as a filling for anarchists and duets, in quarters, coats, and conveyors belt. It can also be made into a film that is used in video and audio tapes in X-ray films. Polyester makes up about 18% of world polymer production and is the third of most produced polymers. Polyethylenes P and propylene PP are first and second respectively. Okay, the first year is a primary petrochemicals. It's my aromatics. Zoilins, toilins, benzene. So the zoilin further produced a parazoilins, meta, and orthozoilins. Okay, these three products are further cracked and processed. And in the last product here, polyester fibers, unsaturated polyester resins, pesticides, and alkali resins. Okay, one of the form of xylene, a parazoilin, is used to make a polyester which have application in clothing packaging and plastic bottles the most widely used of polyester is polyethylene terephthalate 
PET used in a lightweight recyclable or soft drink bottle 30% of production as fiber in the clothing 60% of production as a filling for knocks and devotes in the car tires coats and conveyors belt etc it can also be made into film that is used in Y video and audio tapes as well in X-ray films. Polystyrene make up about 18% of world polymers production and is a third most produced polymer. Polyethylenes PE and propylenes that are P are first and second respective. Okay. Metazoline is an isomer of mixed zoline. It is used as an intermediate in the manufacturing of polyesters for coating, inks, reinforced plastics, and packaging applications. Unsaturated polyester is used over a broad spread of industries, mainly the constructions, boats, building, automotive, and electrical industry. In most applications, they are reinforced with small glass of fibers. <clears throat> These plastics are commonly referred to as a glass reinforcer plastic. It's also known as GRP. Initially a liquid, the resins becomes solid by cross-linking a change. Accretives or hardening creates the free radicals at unsaturated bonds which propagate in a chain reactions to adjust molecules, linking them in the process. Stearin is often used to lower viscosity and evaporates during hardening, where the cross-linking release heat. Orthozoline is an isomer of mixed zoline. It is primarily used to plasticizers, primarily in flexible polyvinyl chloride PVC materials to make it more flexible medicine and dyes. Alkyd resins are a group of sticky synthetic resins used in protective coating in a paints. Okay, now we're going to discuss aromatic toluene and benzene. Toluene disonates, TDI is an isocyanates are used in the production of polyurethanes for flexible or foam application, range from furniture, bedding, and carpets, and line to transport and packaging TDI. TD is also used in the manufacture of coating, sealants, adhesive, and alstomers. Nalun is a generic designation for a family of synthetic polymers known generally as a aliphatic polymers derived from benzene. First produced in 1935 by Dupont, Nalun can be used to form a fibers, filaments, crystals, or sheets to be manufactured into yarn, fabrics, and courage, and it can be formed into molded a product. There are many varieties of nylon that have their own characteristic properties. Nylon plastics are used for making such a product as combs, bricks, and gears. Nylon yarns, on the other hand, are used for making nylon fabrics. When talking about nylon textile, there are two types that are mostly prevalent in the market that is nylon 6x6 and nylon 6. Okay, xylene polyester chain. Now we will discuss over here. If you can see here, this is my aromatics. So this is my primary petrochemicals. Okay, so as we discussed in my earlier slide, xylene are produced a polyester chain and then further we have processed. The toiline is a toiline desonates and then a polyurethanes. So the benzene here saccharin hexanes and for the adipic acids and alone cyclosics and then it will also produce a steric a change so then cubans phenols corp calciums bestophenols and phenolic resins nylon six and apoxy resins okay okay technically the toiline disonates tdi is an Isonate are used in production of polyurethanes for flexible foam application, range from furniture, bedding, and carpet, and like a transport and packaging. TD is also used in manufacturing of coating, sealants, adhesive, and alstomers. Nalun is a generic designation for the family of synthetic polymers known as generally as a 
aliphatics of poly polymerides derived from benzene are first produced in 1935 by the coupon. Nerone can be used to form a fibers, filaments, bristles, or sheets to be manufactured into yarn, fabric, cordage, and it can be formed into model products. Nerone is a tough, elastic, and strong. It has high resistance to wear, heat, and chemical. It is generally used in the form of fine filaments in such articles as hosiery and sports equipment for example parachutes but it also application includes engineering plastic for cars toys healthcare products and coppers roller blade wheels and etc okay the phenol is an aromatic alcohol mainly used as an intermediate in organic synthesis essentially it serves as a raw materials for the production of biphenols are uh, Phenolic reasons, alcophenols and carpolactams, it is a poisonous acidic compound obtained from coal, tar, or benzene and used mainly as a disinfectant or antiseptic. Carbolic acids and hydroxyls derivatives of benzene. Phenolic reasons are manufactured from phenol. They are used in wood products and molding of powders application and also have a wide range of application on the electrical, mechanical, decorative markets in the automobile industry. In a building a construction as well, in thermal insulation product, in a foundry industry products, exactly the epoxy resins is a flexible resins made using phenol and used cheaply in coating adhesive lactical laminates and composite for its excellent adhesion, stent and chemical resistance and the polycarbonates are a particular group of thermoplastics they are easily worked modeled and thermoformed as such these plastics are very well used in the modern manufacturing Polycarbonates is becoming more common in housewares as well as laboratories and in industry. It is often used to create protective features, for example, in banks as well as vendor roof, vendings, and lighting lessons for many buildings. Okay. Conclusion today we have discussed the petrochemical aromatics, xylens toilins a benzene and their derivatives my next lecture we will discuss next topic a benzene and sternic chain and their derivatives Few references, Qatar Petroleum Doha Qatar, All India Development Corporation Limited, Pakistan, World Energy Outlook 2013, U.S. Geological Survey, U.S. Department of Energy, Shilam Burgers, International Energy Agency, Wikipedia, Oklahoma State, Margin Well Commission, Pompers Manuals, State Oil, Fact Sheets, Norsex Standard, The Story of Oil in Pennsylvania, Air Liquid Gas Encyclopedia, Natural Gas from Valley to Bernardi. Together, everyone achieve more. Please do not hesitate. Send me your input feedback at t.musud.dr at bath.edu. Please, you also send me your input through WhatsApp. Thank you very much for your precious time.